This is the Bible News Prophecy Program, bringing you news and analysis of world events in the light of Bible prophecy. Greetings friends around the world. This is Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sasha Velic. In the middle of the last month, the uh, Pope Francis I made some interesting comments about the current conflict in Ukraine. In fact, he doubled down on NATO-Ukraine comments and he mentioned that the Russian invasion on Ukraine was provoked. So, Pope Francis, indeed, has doubled down on prior controversial statements suggesting that Russia-Ukraine conflict is largely NATO's fault, asserting also that, quote, war cannot be reduced to distinction between good guys and bad guys, end of the quote, as the Vatican's own headline to the interview reads. Now, in a statement published a bit later by the Jesuit magazine La Civilità Cattolica, the Roman Catholic leaders also said that the Russian invasion was, quote, perhaps somehow provoked, end of the quote, while again saying there were signs that NATO had been, quote, barking at the gates of Russia, end of the quote, in the run-up. Now, the pontiff still condemned what he called the ferocity and cruelty of the Russian troops, while warning against a pure good versus evil fairy tale narrative of the conflict. Now, just like with his initial similar comments made at, made at the start of May, these later statements made in June had triggered outrage among Western pundits who have called for escalating military support to Ukraine at the expense of dialogue with Moscow toward negotiating a settlement to end the war. Now here is a quote that uh, Pope Francis made also to the press in the middle of the last month. Here is the quote. Pope Francis said, we need to move away from the usual little red riding hood pattern in that little red riding hood was good and the wolf was the bad one, Francis said. And he also added, something global is emerging and the elements are very much entwined. Now that is when in the interview he provided more context to his early May statements on the war. In fact, he added, we do not see the whole drama unfolding behind this war, which was perhaps somehow either provoked or not prevented. Prevented end of the quote. Now, according to Vatican News, the pontiff additionally described that even beyond Ukraine-Russian, the world is at war. Now here is a long, uh, longer statement that he made, and I'm going to quote it. Pope Francis obviously in that statement has included other countries that are currently undergoing a war or internal conflict. So he said, we see what is happening now in Ukraine in a certain way because it is closer to us and pricks our sensibilities more. But there are other countries far away, think of some parts of Africa, northern Nigeria, northern Congo, where war is ongoing and nobody cares. Think of Myanmar and the Rohingya. The world is at war. Today, for me, World War III has been declared, stated Pope Francis. Now, of course, we from the Bible News Prophecy, we would respond to that, that no, this is not World War III yet. So, uh, even though the Pope Francis claims that the World War III has been declared, we think that no, it is not. But however, since the ride of the second horseman of the Book of Revelation, also called the Apocalypse, 
that ride may have begun, then that will culminate in what could be called World War III, and then after that, World War IV. Now, the Continuing Church of God put together a f one video on our Bible News Prophecy YouTube channel. The video is entitled, These Signs of the Force Horsemen Have Begun. And we have given, or rather we have provided, good answers to the questions that the public may be asking at this point, especially as the war in Ukraine is has escalated and has brought some more devastation and more uh, conflict, deeper conflict between Russia and Ukraine. So the questions that we have asked in our video, these signs of the four horsemen have begun, are, are we at the time of the ride of at least some of the four horsemen of the apocalypse? If so, are many prophecy watchers missing signs associated with them? History shows that authoritarian, totalitarian regimes tend to arise after famines and or pestilences. Those are events associated with three of the four horsemen of the Apocalypse or the Book of Revelation. So could the beginning of sorrows and the associated ride of the first horsemen of false ecumenical religion have started in the fall of 2009? That is a good question and we provided the answer on our Bible News Prophecy program. We also ask question, what is the significance of this rider having a bow? Is Satan the prince of the power of the air? And also did Dr. Bob Thiel warn of a prophetic threat of a novel coronavirus back in 2013? Dr. Bob Thiel is the head of the Continuing Church of God and he is also the doctor of natural medicine. We also ask the question, could COVID-19, could it has been related to the taking away the peace from the earth that is associated with the ride of the red horse, the second horseman of war? We also ask the question, what are some of the ramifications of the Russia-Ukraine military conflict and the opening of the second seal? We also pose a question about Prophet Amos. Was Amos inspired to write that God does nothing without revealing it to his servants, the prophets, first? And who warned of these matters? You see, the right of the third horse, the black horse of famine and food price inflation, specifically wheat, barley, edible oils and wine. Since Ukraine is a major exporter of the first three, could this as well as fertilizer shortages, have anything to do with the ride of that horseman. The pale horse of the fourth seal mentions one quarter of humankind being subject to being killed by the sword, hunger and pestilence. And will this be a factor in the rise of the beast of Revelation 13? Is persecution associated with the start of the Great Tribulation and the rise of the beast. The question is also, why is the beast going to be in charge of a European-based empire? And in associated in connection with that, will the opening of the first four seals and the starts of the rights of the four horsemen of the Apocalypse get Europe to, to reorganize such as is prophesied in the book of Revelation chapter 17 verses 12 and 13. Also we may ask what does Jesus say you should do? The doctor of the natural medicine Dr. Bob Thiel addresses these matters and more in the video that you're going to find on our biblenewsprophecy.com and the video entitled, These Signs of the Four 
horsemen have begun. Now, that being said, other than being a bit more accurate than the main Western press, why else might Pope Francis have suggested that the Russian so-called special military operation into Ukraine was provoked? Well, our answer is this. Because, as a Jesuit ecumenical leader, Pope Francis wants the Russian Orthodox to come into some type of ecumenical unity with the Vatican. And that is consistent with the objectives of the Second Vatican, which is something Pope Francis feels many in the United States of America are not properly supporting. We also had the, last month, we had the Catholic News Agency reported the following. And this was published in uh, June 14th, 2022. The title was Pope Francis there are many restorers in the U.S. who do not accept Vatican II. So, what this article was saying is that there are many so-called restorers in the United States who do not accept the Second Vatican Council. Pope Francis made that statement in an interview published uh, published in the in at the middle of the last month. Now, speaking to the editors of Jesuit journals, he indeed criticized what he called restorationism in the church, which he defined as the failure to accept Vatican the Vatican II, the Ecumenical Council held from 1962 to 1965. In connection with that, Pope Francis made the following statement. Restorationism has come to gag the Council. The number of groups of restorers, for example, in the United States, there are many, and it is significant. But the problem is precisely this. In some contexts, the Council has not yet been accepted. It is also true that it takes a century for a council to take root. We still have 40 years to make it that to take that it, uh, for, to make it and take that root then. That's what he basically said. So we still have 40 years to make it take root then. Well, Pope Francis also cited opposition to Vatican, uh, Vatican II when he issued the motu proprio traditions custodies in July 2021, limiting celebrations of the traditional Latin Mass. In connection with that, he sent a letter to the world's bishop, bishop and the world's bishops, and he said that he was saddened that the celebration of the traditional Latin Mass was often characterized by a rejection not only of the liturgical reform but of the Vatican Council II itself. So dear friends, it will become in time even more apparent that the Vatican is more interested in unity with the Eastern Orthodox Church, officially known as the Orthodox Catholic Church, than Roman Catholics within the United States of America. Now, for more analysis and for more analysis of the current news and events, you can find more information on our website, prophecy, uh, the Bible News Prophecy dot com. That's the Bible News Prophecy uh, program. So, the Bible News Prophecy dot com. My name is Alexander Sashevelich and until next time, goodbye friends.